is averaging 21.3 points per game on the season. Panthers get a second chance here with Malcolm, who scores the first basket of the day on the drive. Mentioned Ella Stemmer, Colleen McQuillan running the point for the Mountain Hawks. Remy Sisselman along with Megan O'Brien down low. Lily Fandre scores their first basket. This time, Battle on the drive, works away and it scores. Pitt is really attacking. Malkin scored on the first possession for Pitt there, and then you see Aaron Battle scoring well, taking it to the left. Stemmer banks one home, not afraid to shoot the three. And we mentioned the three-point shooting for the Mountain Hawks. Coach Messier said they use a share it and shoot it motto. That's what they do there as Megan O'Brien converts. Well, as commentators, Brianne, we love when you know, something happens on the floor that makes us look like we knew what we were talking about. Opportunity for Lee coming into the ACC conference and playing Pitt on their home floor as coach Addy Messier was super excited for her and her players to get this opportunity. Couple offensive rebounds by the Panthers and it ends with an Aaron Battle bucket. Ends a quick 6-0 Lehigh run there. Now McQuillan distributing great ball movement along the perimeter from Lehigh and it finishes with an O'Brien three from the corner. Megan O'Brien already with six points off a couple triples. And there you see Ella Stemmer right over to Megan O'Brien, hitting her teammate. Five from the field have the Mountain Hawks for a three-point lead in the first quarter. Abby Hutcherson backs down O'Brien in the post, and the Mountain Hawks head the other way. Stemmer open in the corner, knocks down the triple. Four for five start from three-point range for the Mountain Hawks. So get out in transition here. Pass, up, pass the ball up the floor. Their best shooter. Now it's Stemmer again, defended by Aislinn Malcolm. Separation, step through, and now a kick out. Sisselman, it's true. Lehigh, five for six from three-point range to start the day. Meanwhile, the Panthers looking for something offensively. They've struggled early on, but Leah Tu King can always count on her for the rebound and the putback. Apolucci Ayadel into the contest for the Panthers. And shot good to make it a five point game. 21 and 11 points and boards for King on the year. Now she defends Fandre, who drives a strong take from Lily Fandre. You see here, Fandre squares up, takes Leah to. Fandre, a quick give back to. McQuillan, but pass taken by Bella Perkins. Now a pull-up jumper for Perkins. That's good. Down under the basket. You see here the great defensive play. Bella Perkins stepping into the passing lane. See, she doesn't have numbers, but she knows. 15 on the timer now for Washington and the Panthers. Nice feed to Jayla Jordan on the inside and got the roll. Perkins thought about the three. A little hesitation move to the basket, deflected and blocked by Megan O'Brien. Stemmer, baseline drive, kick out. Great ball movement by the Mountain Hawks, and the three is long. Stemmer the rebound, and gets the put back to go. Against LaSalle, that was a season high for her. Now six on the timer. Fandre, spin move in the post, got it. Yes, she, <laughs> she thought that one was down, I think. <laughs> Three-point lead for the Mountain Hawks, but Jayla Jordan again ties the score at 26 by Bella Perkins on the Lehigh Drive. Now she pushes tempo, finds Washington. It's in transition. That's a good Panther bucket to take the lead. And that's something you work on. Great stop by Bella Perkins. And then Bella Perkins on the offensive end, sharing advantage in transition. Great play, heads-up play by Bella Perkins to find Marley Washington on the wing for a nice little easy layup. Stemmer, a three. Man, Jason. She's four for eight from beyond the arc. Perkins, nice feed to Jordan and one. With the dime to Marley Washnitz. And then again, Bella Perkins on the great attack. Now it's Sisselman in the corner with nine on the timer. Panthers providing some pressure. Pass inside off a beautiful cut from Kaylee Van Epps for two. To be quite frank, to be honest. Perkins three swirls out. And now Sisselman headed the other way. Fantastic pass up ahead to Whitney Lynn for two. It always does. 
So Panthers down three, trying to limit Lehigh's three-point shooting that has been deadly so far. He scores it on the offensive end and then flips over to the de defensive end and gets a steal for her teammates. Perkins' pull-up is true, and the Panthers regain the lead again. Bella Perkins, could she have another coming out game today? Washington's a steal, heads the other way. Washington's defense to offense increases the pit lead to three points. Entry pass, King again. Great defense by the Mountain Hawks, but King trying to push through a couple defenders, and they force the miss. Now Stemmer, same spot, same result. Ella Stemmer with her fifth three of the day. Hawks. And Hutcherson makes one of her own. A lot of offense in the peak today. 39-36 late in the second quarter. Stemmer that time fakes from the corner. Takes the pull up and hits 19 are finding her and rewarding her. And that was just a great heads up play by her. Pick closes out to her. She uses a little shot fake and gets a pull up. Stepping up for the Mountain Hawks, they've allowed 41 pit points. Not even at halftime yet. Sisselman's drive is good off the glass. Remy Sisselman with the great take. Malcolm uses a screen and converts on the jumper from the free throw line. Hazlin Malcolm knocking it down. They need her a little bit more to step up today. Stemmer left open again. Another three ball from Stemmer. Wow. She is even more fun to watch in person <laughs> than she is on film. Perkins answers. <laughs> Tightly guarded by Washington. Panthers making some defensive adjustments to account for Stemmer's efficiency. Now a strip from Battle. And Battle lays it up and in on the other end. Panthers lead by five. That is the largest Pittsburgh lead of the day. Already with two here, just 20 seconds into the third. Kick out, Stemmer's open in the corner. Another one for Ella Stemmer. Make it 28. Called for a travel inside. Look at the ball movement. Incredible, incredible ball movement. They are so patient on the offensive end. As you see, Marley Washington helps. Ellis for the junior. And that's just not good defense by the Pitt Panthers. Marley Washnitz knows better than that. She helps from the strong side corner. Washnitz with eight on the timer. Backs down the defender, uses her body to score the two. Nice take by Marley Washnitz out of their horn set with the two screens up at the top. She attacks the paint, but not enough as Lehigh. So they called the foul on Leah to King. So Lehigh with possession again, and Stemmer swirls one in for three. 31 points, eight three-pointers for Ella Stemmer. Wow, and that is a career high for Ella Stemmer. Eight threes. But the Panthers continue to respond. They have a two-point lead. Now McQuillan, trifecta for McQuillan. What score going to be? This is incredible. <laughs> well, they put up 106 on Thursday. Can we see it again? They're starting to give us the impression they could get close to that again. You never see anybody face guard in college just because it's too difficult. But Ella Stemmer, man, they need something against her. They cannot help off of her. They have to be aware of wherever she is on the floor. You may want to love that. Just pass the ball to Stemmer, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Or McQuillan. Yeah. That works too. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> By nature, and it was not until this year that they told her she needs to be more selfish. She's really started to own that. And well, when she starts shooting the ball a little bit more, ends up with 34 points. Now Fandre tries a three. That's good. 12 0 run for Lehigh, and they lead by 10. Rebound. Now Perkins in transition. Pull up jumper, got it. Hands back off to McQuillan. Stemmer with Jordan Honor. Searching for an opening. Drive, kick. Corner triple off target. Panthers racing the other way with battle. And the dish off to King at the buzzer. It goes. And the Panthers make it a two possession game at the end of the third. 
So plenty of offense in the Peterson event center. Time that record once again here on the road in Pittsburgh. Jayla Jordan converts off the entry pass from Timerson, and the Panthers have now cut the lead to four. They had Jayla Jordan solo, just one-on-one -on -one inside the paint, and they took advantage of it. They need to pound the basketball inside in this fourth. Battle with 13 on the timer. Inside to Jordan, backs down the defender and takes the jumper to make it 70-68. In the third quarter that the Mountain Hawks started to take control, looked like Sisselman might have gotten away with a the travel there. Nonetheless, I guess the kids would say ball don't lie. Panthers gain possession and convert on the other end. You see here pushing the basketball ahead. Nice little pass from Aaron Battle in this fourth quarter. Leading Pitt on this comeback here, just down by, well, tied now at 70. And a great defensive play by Jordan as well. Jayla Jordan takes advantage. None on the other end. Panthers outscoring the Mountain Hawks 6-0 in this fourth quarter. A three banks in from Sisselman. I'm not sure how there was an angle for that. And here's that tie career high. It did. I don't think she knows either, but there they go to tie the record. Of course it goes in for them. Battles three, rims out, and a foul on Jordan. Feels weird being three minutes into a quarter, and Alice Demmer hasn't scored yet. <laughs> She's been quiet. Sisselman. Back rim, rebound O'Brien. This time Stemmer, yes! You had to say it, Jason. <laughs> she heard you, I think. Ties a Patriot League all-time or ties a Lehigh. <laughs> 18 threes for Lehigh today, a new Patriot League record. Jayla Jordan keeps attacking the offensive end for Pitt. Washington, it's the drive. Finds King, dump inside to Jordan. Great defense by Lehigh. Malcolm uses a screen from Jordan and finds Washington. Now a three ball from Washington is good. King in the paint and gets it to drop. 78-76, Panthers lead. Malcolm, screen from King. Roll for King. King of the paint puts it in again, and the Panthers have a four-point lead. Love that. 9-0 to run. The Pitt Panthers are on right now. Outside, Sisselman for three. Too strong. Rebound, O'Brien. Put back is a foul. Ten ties, ten lead changes in this game. Open Perkins in the corner. Got it for three. Huge defensive stance by the Pitt Panthers and Marley Washnitz. Great turn of events for the Panthers. And a big time play from the sophomore guard, Marley Washington. Perkins left open again. Once again, a three. Bella Perkins puts the Panthers up nine. Bella Perkins right there as she was feeling it. Great screen by Jayla Jordan. Look at the reaction. She <laughs> loves it. Loved it. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what head coach Tori, Tori Verdi wants from her. And she is getting it done on both ends of the floor. She has taken two and unreal charges that have turned this game around for her teammates. Hustle plays right now. They really are. Playing with high emotions, wanting, really, really wanting to win this basketball game. Washington drives. Good defense by Lehigh. Washington comes up with it. What a feed to Jordan on the low block. The bench is loving it. Marley Washington stays with it. She gets blocked, but she doesn't give up. Finds her teammate in Jayla Jordan for these. As they're taking care of the basketball better, their goal is to have 13 or fewer turnovers each game. Today, just 10 turnovers by the Panthers. And, and it'll end up as a 12-point win for the Panthers, led by 23 from Jayla Jordan, 22 from Bella Perkins. They outscored Lehigh 30-12 in the fourth quarter for a resilient win today.